All right. Hello, this is going to be another time lapse drawing. This one is going to be two characters from my comic that I'm working on, Errant. And it's going to be two of the insect characters. We got the big beetle guy that I've already started here. Uh, his name is Trujillo. And then the moth guy behind that's only lightly sketched out right now, his name is Othello. And uh, they are some of my favorite characters to draw. Uh, their, their designs were um, from when I had originally started Errant way, way back in the day before any of the characters were even animals or insects or whatever. But these guys ended up being um, designs that I really liked. And they've changed a bit, but they're mostly recognizable from from what they looked like before, at least when they first became insect characters. But I've refined their designs and, you know, just added little things or tweaked little things here and there, like over the last several years. And because of that, they're characters that I'm really familiar with. They're characters that I think are really polished design-wise. Um, and so I just wanted to draw like a big one-shot of both of them because I don't often draw both of them together because they're both kind of large characters, if that makes sense. You know, when drawing in comics, if you have characters that are bigger than the rest of your characters, it, it's, it honestly happens that you don't always end up drawing all of them all the time and even on this big page they're both cut off to some extent because you know Trujillo's got a whole bunch of arms he's got these big horn shapes because he's like you know Hercules style beetle and then Othello's you know got all these arms as well and got big wings and a big staff and they're just large characters so when drawing them in frame they always end up getting cut off or something like that so I always enjoy being able to spread out and draw <laughs> more of them even if not all of them, because they have so much just nice, juicy detail. And I'm going in with this uh, Faber-Castell pencil. It's a it's an H graphite, so it's it's pretty light. And I did a whole layer over the entire line work with that. And then bringing in the carpenter pencil, just a basic Dixon carpenter pencil. And, you know, making some of the areas darker, adding a little bit of, you know, uh, uh, a little bit more depth and value to the shadows. Um, and since it's a larger piece, I can kind of come in with a bigger pencil and fill some of those areas in. And I wanted to zoom in so you guys could see some of the detail. You know, when I'm when I'm filling these areas with the pencil, I'm not just thinking about the tone. I'm also thinking about the the uh, texture. You know, it's not just about filling an area with gray. I want it to look like a wing. And moth wings have these kind of like soft, almost feathery scales. So I kind of wanted to imply that texture. You know, because there's going to be a big gray area in the piece. You know, I don't want it to just be like flat and boring. I want it to have some direction and some sort of, you know, information. So it's not just a big chunk of the drawing that's not interesting to look at. And, you know, again, just going nuts on the background here with that black Palomino pencil. Um, I have way too much fun with this. I mean, it takes a long time. It's kind of tedious, but it's really like soothing in a weird way. And, you know, I can go through like half of a pencil in some of these larger drawings, just filling it in with black like this. But, you know, this this moth dude, Othello, he can he can he he has some some sort of interesting things he can do. And this the swirling black smoke is kind of, uh, you know, his deal. So if you see him, you're probably going to see that swirling black smoke, too. And it's kind of bad news, but it it looks cool. And, you know, as far as like drawing backgrounds go. As, which is something I don't really like to do. Doing like abstract smoky backgrounds is not only easy and soothing for me, but you know, it just lets the lets the characters be the focal point, you know, without worrying too much about where they are. They're just, you know, running around looking cool. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you just want to make a drawing where 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 things are looking cool. Cool drawing where things are cool. So I hope you guys like this video. A little bit longer one for a time lapse, but I really condensed it down over several sessions. But it was experimental a little bit, but it was fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.